Today I'm going to show you how to use the quantifier to develop an accurate takeoff and estimate for concrete foundations. Well, first I'm going to open up a quantifier. We're going to take a look at this concrete floor slab. Um, and you'll notice that the concrete floor slab uh, has a thickened edge. It also is not rectangular in shape. We want to make sure that we're modeling our concrete slabs as a solid object. And you can check if it's a solid by going to um, the uh, entity info and looking at the, the name and making sure that the word solid is in the description. In order to create cost reports, you need to first add cost information to the objects in your model. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to do it using the layer cost data. First, we have to make sure that the slab object is assigned to a layer. And we can see in the entity info that we've assigned it to the concrete slab layer. We'll open up the layer cost data. We we'll can put in an optional weight for the object. And now we're going to start to add cost line items by hitting this plus button. Each line that you add is going to correspond to a line in your cost report. You're going to add an optional cost code. The first line will be for the material, the actual concrete material. And we're going to look at our input. We're going to quantify the material in terms of cubic yard. So we're going to select cubic yards as the input quantity. The factor is going to remain 1 because we want the output or report unit to also be cubic yards. We'll assign a unit cost. We'll say it's $100 per cubic yard. You can assign a waste factor and a tax rate. I'm also going to add a comment here by clicking this button. Again, this is optional, but you can use this to add uh, in vendor information or any cost reference information or other metadata that you would like to include. So in this case, I'm just going to say does not include delivery. I'll add another item. The next one will be for the rebar. Now the rebar is going to be reported in terms of pounds. So because our input object is the slab, we need to find a way to convert from quantities for the slab into pounds. So we're going to have our input unit as cubic feet. Change the output unit to pounds. And we're going to just give a factor or a multiplier of 5. So we're going to convert for every cubic foot of uh, of slab, uh, it's going to be five pounds of rebar. Another way to do it is you could actually model all of the rebar in your model, but I prefer not to do that, and most people would rather not put in all the effort to do that. Unless we need to be really accurate, we can just uh, use an estimate factor here in terms of slab volume. So our unit cost for the rebar, we'll say, is a dollar per pound, 5% waste, Again, 5% tax. And we'll keep adding some more line items here. The next one will be for the slab finishing labor. We're going to put that in as cost per square foot at a rate of a dollar per square foot. No tax, no waste. Last item, uh, last line item we'll add is for a vapor barrier below the slab. That will also be per square foot. We'll leave these factors as one since our output unit is also square foot. And we will put in a cost of six cents per square foot with 5% waste and 5% tax. Okay, so we've entered all the cost data for that object, keeping in mind that any object that's assigned to that layer will use the same cost data. Now when we select the floor slab, Quantifier will output uh, an immediate cost report here showing uh, the total cost estimate for the selected object. And what we can do as well is we can look at the Cost Inspector tool. Again, we'll click the floor slab, and here we get a summary of all the cost information for that object. And you can see each line here matches a line that we put in 
under layer data. Total cost 761.55. So let's make a quick cost report for this item. We'll just select it, make sure cost detail report is selected. We'll create the report. And here is a quick cost estimate for the slab. $1,000.